My name is Karen Cho. I'm a documentary filmmaker in Montreal. I do mostly um, social, um, political type of documentaries. Um, and I also do some short fiction films and things, but mostly documentary. I was actually always interested in, um, in journalism uh, to begin with, and I got involved at, at, in CJEP. I got involved with the student paper, and they had a kind of student um, television studio. Sometimes I'd be covering these stories and I'd be really frustrated at how you have to be very objective in journalism, report what happened and, and kind of that's it. And I really wanted to comment on things and say more through by doing films. So that's kind of how I got my start. Family Secrets is the latest film I'm working on. It's a, an experimental, I guess, docu-fiction you could call it, film where I'm um, it's a found footage film, so, so I've, uh, I've collected or I'm collecting old 8mm home movies and I'm kind of melding that with audio clips where people tell really real um, family secrets from their families. So this is, um, it's actually a, I guess a series of like art pieces that, that I've been doing and it's kind of been what inspired Family Secrets. Um, these are old photos of like people's families from the turn of the century that I I'd kind of found and I, and I was trying to imagine um, the family histories behind it. They're a bit sinister in terms of like I put labels on um, the people kind of telling what their story might be. And the photos is just so nonsensical because the photos are really old fashioned proper photos of, of women but I'm trying to put like present day labels on them. What attracts me so much about documentary filmmaking is really the sense that the people in the film, the subjects of the film are real people and very often real stories are, are more powerful in a way than, than fic fictitious stories because uh, you know there's real consequences to what's going on or there's uh, you know there's real stakes. I do tend to really focus on um, issues of immigration and identity. What I try to do in my films is really tell personal stories and find people who, you know, they, through telling their stories, you can identify with them. You know, whether you're Chinese, whether you're an immigrant or a refugee or not, you know, you begin to see these people, you know, that's a mother, that's a sister, that could be me. Of the five generations of my family to live in Canada, I am the first to be born in an era without discriminatory policies specifically targeting the Chinese. In the Shadow of Gold Mountain, that was my, my first documentary film, and I do have a, a personal connection to the issues that are kind of explored in that film. Um, that film is about the, the Chinese Head Tax and Exclusion Act, and they were two really kind of racist pieces of legislation against the Chinese in Canada. I had never learned about these things in my history books, you know, they, they, these stories were never told. I, I didn't even know that the Chinese had built the railway, um, you know, that something that made Canada or the Confederation of Canada possible. In the Shadow Gold Mountain kind of inspired the second film that I did, which is Seeking Refuge, and that, that's a film about uh, refugee or asylum seekers in Canada. It was a film I had shot uh, bilingually. Uh, we did a lot of double interviews, and uh, it had um, a broadcast in French as well. And it was really interesting um, when that film was broadcast in French, because all of a sudden I kind of had some cred, in a way, um, with the, the francophone side of the industry, and I kind of got in uh, on the French side. In a way, I'm, I'm like so ingrained here in Quebec and, and here in Canada, but I really identify with these stories of immigrants or, or new arrivals. And um, it, it's odd in a way because I have really deep roots in Quebec. Ça fait cinq générations de ma famille qui, qui est ici. Et l'autre côté de ma famille, ça fait comme presque 200 ans qu'on est ici au Québec. Dans mon parcours, dans, dans, dans mes films, je me je demande cette question souvent. À, à quelle période est-ce que j'arrête être, être un immigrant ici? Cette notion de c'est quoi être un Québécois peut être élargir pour euh, inclure les gens qui ont les voix qui ne sont pas les voix de mainstream. Donc c'est ça ce que j'essaie de, de faire dans les films que, que je fais.